up you guys welcome back to my channel we're doing a new york city week in my life thank you so much to abercrombie for sponsoring this video once again i'm just loving abercrombie i'm headed to the hamptons as you guys know me katie and brooke are doing a montauk house like we did one last year as well and it was the best time of our life and now that i have some really great summer staples from abercrombie i just feel like very set i'm like super obsessed with the idea of having a ton of very timeless essential pieces that you can dress up with like statement jewelry stuff like that so i wanted to do another little try on haul for you guys i did one in a couple vlogs ago and you guys really really liked it and i will have all the items tagged on this youtube video it's literally so easy you can shop the items from this video you just click on them it's amazing and before i show you guys the clothes because you're just gonna be obsessed and you're gonna be so distracted i have a code i have an abercrombie code it is YouTube AF and it's 20% off. Exclusions apply, I'll have them down below. But the code is only running for a limited time, so you need to use it like ASAP. <laughs> it's running from July 21st to 27th, so go, 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 and enjoy this try on clothing haul. I am very excited about these pieces because everything you'll see can kind of be interchanged within each other, which I think is awesome, kind of create a little summer capsule wardrobe. So the first item is just this really nice basic white square neck tank. I really, really like how it fits. I am loving square neck right now. I think it's just a little bit more elevated. And then I got these white linen trousers. These are different than the black ones I showed in my last haul because these, they don't have any buttons or anything. They're just stretchy, which we love. Um, pockets, I think this is just a really chic look. Just pair it with these low sandals that I am like obsessed with. So I think this is just so easy, but let me add something to this outfit. I have been eyeing this for so long. I am obsessed with this. I think I saw someone on TikTok wear it and I thought it was so cute and so perfect for summer. So it's just this like netted sweater that looks so, it's perfect over the white tank or you could do a white bralette if you want, but like it's giving Hamptons, it's giving Coastal Granddaughter, but with a little flare i love this this is also would be super cute over a swimsuit it's like a little cover up with like denim shorts but i really like this top and i have a different pair of pants that i want to show you guys that could also be really cute with this outfit okay so you guys know how much i love the curve love line so these are one of their curve love jeans so it's not white it's more of a cream color which goes perfect with this sweater um I love this outfit. This is a little bit more elevated than the white linen pants, but another super cute look. I think a pair of pants like this for the summer is just so perfect. You can wear a sweater, you could wear a tank. Like if I took the sweater off and wore it with this and added like a belt, that would be cute. So I kept the white tank on and then I added these black shorts. I've been, I really struggle with shorts in general. Like I just, I don't like when they hug my thighs. I just, it's not my vibe. So these are the perfect like tailored shorts. They have them in other colors too. They fit so nicely, they don't stick to my legs. So I just tucked the white tank in and I added these black flip-flop heels with like a little black bag. Maybe I'd add a belt even and some black sunnies. This is so perfect. And it's just, this tank has been so interchangeable in the outfits and I just love these shorts so much. Like I've really been looking for a pair of shorts like this. So I'm very happy with that. I mean, this set speaks for itself. <laughs> This is just so stunning. They have this in other colors too. I absolutely love this set. If you're going to Greece, <laughs> easy boom done. Um, going out east, going to Florida. It's giving like been at the beach all day, came in and showered. Now we're going to our little vacation dinner. This is the perfect set. Again, I could just wear this top with shorts with another skirt or just this skirt. I have this on with the white tank and it looked really nice. Um, I love it. It's so comfortable. The material is fabulous. I love, love this knotted detail here. You can kind of like pull this up as much as you want or like bring it down. So it's really just up to you. So these are the pieces I got from Abercrombie. I'm just like totally inspired like fashion wise right now just because of these pieces I got. Again, I'm really into that capsule wardrobe situation and I think Abercrombie is perfect for that. So I'll have all the items tagged on this video and also use that code YouTube AF for 20% off. Like definitely take advantage of that okay i'm all cozied up now um i love keeping my apartment freezing cold i was away in F illinois for a week and then florida for a week so i'm i was working while i was there but there's just certain things i had to wait till i came here to do um and it's just tuesday i feel like tuesdays i don't know if anyone else feels this way tuesdays are the biggest email days because i feel like mondays people are going to their inbox whatever 
but Tuesdays are when they're getting fired out personally. So I'm just sitting here getting everything cranked out. I have a very dense to-do list today, um, but we're getting through it. Actually, I can mark a couple things off, which always feels very good. I have to do like boring things like call the OBGYN and get a, an appointment, you know, for my annual, you know, mature things. I hate going to the doctor, but it's something important to do. Ryan and I are going on a date tonight. <laughs> I still call them dates four years later. Um, he's planning it. I mean, we're just going to dinner, but I don't know where we're going. And I'm just, it's 3.30 and I'm like, when will I know where we're going? So I can plan my outfit accordingly. But yeah, I am just so obsessed with the pre-made playlist Spotify makes for you based off of like, what you already listened to. So I'm listening, um, well, I'm listening to a lot of different playlists, but in this moment right now, I'm listening to one of like the daily mixes it made for me. So this one is um, of Monsters and Men, Johnny Swims, Johnny Swim, The Lumineers and more. So it's like that vibe, but I just, I love how they curate all these playlists for you. So I'm listening to that while I pound through emails. Um, I'm gonna eat some lunch, a little bit of a late lunch. <laughs> Welcome back. It feels so good to be back in my apartment and just like in my own space. It was really hard to leave home because Florida in the summer is just so fun. But as soon as I got back here, I was like, <laughs> I'm thriving. I love it here. Just got my lunch. I got kava. I hate, I hate lunch. Like I just, breakfast and dinner, I've got down lunch. It's very hard. So I just like default to kava. Um, <laughs> I know. Um, I got the, I'm trying the right rice. And arugula, chicken, tomato, cucumber, lettuce, avocado. And I'm doing something crazy. I've been using salad dressing lately, you guys. If you know, you know. I used to never. I still don't like ranch or Caesar dressing, like white dressings. But I, I'm going to try this Greek vinaigrette and see if I like it to put on here. But it's just the perfect lunch. Like, dear Kava, I love you. It's time for the afternoon cuppa. We're going to do some decaf coffee. You guys know the drill. Still on my computer doing emails. Guys, I am so good about cleaning out my refrigerator before I travel, especially if I'm going away for like longer than a weekend. And I did, and I don't know what's in there. Well, actually, there were a couple things I loved, including cottage cheese. I refused to even open the cottage cheese when I got back because I was like, if the cottage cheese is a color I don't want to see, I just don't need to know. But there's literally such a rancid smell in my fridge i cleaned it out yesterday i keep baking soda in there because my dad last time he was here put it in there he was like it helps soak up the scent didn't do that and i cleaned it and i cleaned everything out and i have my new groceries in there that i got this morning and even like my brita water tastes bad because like i could taste the smell i don't know how to explain it so i'm just complaining to you guys by the time this vlog is up i would have hopefully figured it out or it just would have gone away but I really, I, what I should have done is waited to get groceries and like left my door open for a night, but then I would have had to take everything out. So actually, that's not sustainable either. I don't know. Back to the desk we go with my fresh cup of coffee. <laughs> Inbox is cleared, to-do list is mainly plowed through. <laughs> plowed. Um, just have a couple more things that involve me leaving my apartment and I have to clean. So we'll do those things tomorrow. We'll just move those things over to tomorrow's to-do list, but feeling good, ready to close my computer now though. Um, Ryan picked a dinner place. We're going to a place called Mino's Brasserie. It's a French restaurant in the West Village. I think it's called, yeah, or Mino, M-I-N-O. So we'll see how it goes. I need to pick out an outfit for that because I kind of want to get like an Insta picture. I'm just feeling it. Um, but before that, I filmed an Instagram reel earlier just because I've, I've just been like into fashion right now, okay? And I was just inspired and I just decided to film a little non-sponsored summer outfit inspo video for my Instagram reels. Um, so all my clothes are like on my bed now and I'm kind of packing for the Hamptons and I have a ton of products in my bathroom. I just, things need to be tidied. So one, two, three, let's go. <laughs>
Okay, I'm about to get ready for dinner, but I just got the most random package in the mail from Amazon. Stuff I ordered, but like, it's always funny. I love, I always select like, if I can, like ship everything in few boxes as possible. And when I do that, it's so funny. You just get a ton of random things in a box. So I bought one of these for Montauk because I did not realize that these things actually work. I know that sounds crazy, but like I always thought, you know, it kept your drink a little bit chilled, but no, these keep your drink freezing cold to the last drop. I was shook by this. So I got a Yeti one um, for slim cans because I plan to order mom water to the Hamptons because I'm that obsessed with it. Um, and I typically drink, if I'm drinking like a seltzer, it's usually in this size can, but they have them for other sizes as well. It's um, linked on my Amazon shop, but I think it's under prime deal, prime day deals. I love it. I got yellow, so it's very me. Also really random, um, I got the Vegamore Hydrate Deep Moisture Repair Mask because Peyton Sarton literally always talks about it. And she was like, the key to my slick back hairstyles is she just puts in a hair mask, which I think is genius. Instead of like a ton of gel, you're actually doing something good for your hair and then you just rinse it out at the end of the night. Um, and their products always smell amazing, I'm assuming. Oh, the mask doesn't smell like the other things, but it also smells good. But I love this specific scent of the Grow Shampoo, but nonetheless, it smells good. I got more Octa Buddies because unfortunately they do start to like, age if you will this is like what you put on the back of your phone case so it can stick to windows and my two of my suctions have like fallen off that's happened to me once before so i kind of always have to buy a couple more this is just like a clear one it's also linked on my amazon shop under tech lastly this was inspired by my friend kelly ann also known as makeup xk i'm really excited about it this is perfect for like longer trips i wouldn't bring this on like every trip ever just because it's you know it's kind of big i mean it folds i guess you could it folds but it's a hanging jewelry organizer double-sided i am seriously so obsessed i just love this because you can see all of your necklaces like there's these little zipper pouches one necklace one necklace or like earrings bigger things down here bracelets rings like this is a nice big one i could even put some sunglasses in there maybe um oh no that's a lie well, there are bigger ones, but that just folded even more. I mean, this is pretty hefty, and I think it's just so perfect. So I love that um, I can put everything in here, especially like if, I mean, when I move eventually, not this year, but, you know, maybe next year, you can like move all your jewelry this way. I don't know. I just think it's great, and you can just roll it all up. Boom, done. So this is definitely coming with me to the Hamptons. So that's my random little Amazon haul. <laughs> I'm literally going to get my hair done on Thursday. My hairstyles is literally about to hate me so much. But this piece is so much shorter than this piece. And I feel like I'm going to wear this hairstyle a lot. But what if I just pulled... Like, I really just want to, like... I'm going to do it. A little more. an angle right that's how they do it I don't think I've literally ever done this <laughs> oh my god feeling a little regretful my hair is in the sink but like it just had to happen oh my god I hope that wasn't like I hope that was the right hair I cut just now here is my outfit for dinner tonight. I'm very proud of it. Um, you guys have already seen this <clears throat> on my vlog, but I've been waiting for a perfect occasion to wear this. And this is just so cute. This top, actually both things are from Abercrombie. <laughs> Not on purpose, but I just love Abercrombie right now. This top is literally so flattering. Again, it's on my LTK. Oh my gosh, I believe it comes in other colors too. I just love how it just pulls you in. And then I'm wearing the Curve Love black linen pants. And then we're in New York, we gotta be comfortable. So I'm wearing these black shoes from Jeffrey Campbell. I always say Sam Edelman, but I think they're Jeffrey Campbell. Um, yeah, pulled my hair back. Earrings are anthropology, the Petra earrings. Um, I'm really proud of this. Ryan, what's the dropper for? Spicy sauce. 
it adds, it makes it spicy. Oh, that's, I've literally never seen this ever. Oh boy, watch out. Let's go crazy. I got a salad with chicken, and then you guys know I love green beans, so whenever I see haricot vert on a menu, I get it. Home from dinner now. It was so lovely. It's just like, the city is so lively in the summer at night. Like, everyone's at a table outside. The vibes are just, they're just right. And so after dinner, Ryan and I went for a little walk. It was really nice. And I got some coffee grounds because I just used Keurig coffee. Oh gosh. And we're gonna put this in my fridge and apparently it's gonna help change the scent of my bad smelling fridge. I love this smell so much. So I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna use all of it in case I need to do another round. Um, but all my food's just gonna smell like coffee now. But that's better than the rancid smell it was. So we're gonna give it a shot because my Brita water literally tastes bad. I went and bought Smart Water Alkaline. Love this stuff. Because I'm so thirsty. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, update. It's been... 20 minutes and my fridge already smells so much better. So there's a hack. I've been seeing sleepy girl mocktails on TikTok and I'm gonna make one for myself. People always say tart cherry juice is really great um, to like drink before bed. It helps to get you sleepy. Um, and then I recently bought this because I, I take magnesium at night before bed, but um, this is from Moon Juice. It's magnesium. I actually got it at Sephora. Um, and it also has L-theanine. Yeah, it's just magnesium and L-theanine, but it has like a berry taste. Um, so I thought it was like a fun little way to wind down instead of like drinking sleepy time tea or just taking magnesium. Um, they also said you could put like soda water in it as well or like sparkling water. But I'm just going to try this way. It says to do one teaspoon. One teaspoon in water every night or when you need to chill. <laughs> so we're going to give this a go. Got my Luke Comb shirt on. All right. One teaspoon. It smells really tasty. Like, it just smells really good. Magnesium, baby. This could be the new thing for me. And I'm not going to put water unless the cherry juice is too much. But I think this will be a nice... Oh my God, I'll feel like I'm drinking red wine. Wait, this is kind of a vibe. I just need to mix it. I need to be careful with my wet, my white couch. It smells really tasty. All right, cheers, let's give it a go. Oh my God. I mean, that is really tasty. You're telling this, this is gonna make me calm? I love it, boom. Well, there goes that. It's on my rug, ugh. Shoot, did it get on my clothes? Oh my gosh, that would have been so... Here I am vlogging it. I need to clean it. I really hope. The, I cared the most about my computer, my rug. I have Shout Spray on right now. I was just trying to have a sleepy girl mocktail and do work at the same time. Ugh, maybe it's because I had it in the wine glass. It was easier to tip over. Oh my gosh, I'm so mad at myself. We're on to sleepy time tea now because cannot be bothered. Maybe next time I'll just make it with water because... That is too much of a liability. And now my computer, it's turning on. I think I got all the liquid out or most of it, but I think I should have turned the computer off while I was like cleaning the keyboard. It's not, it's saying my password's wrong. So I'm wondering if like while I was cleaning the keys ferociously with the paper towel. Oh no, it's making the airplane noise. It did this last time I got water damage. No. But I'm wondering if I accidentally changed my password in the, pro I think I did. Oh my gosh. Guys, I can't, it's not even, I don't even know how to, it says restart and sh but it's not letting me restart. I really can't, I can't have this right now. Uh, things are not looking good. 
This is so weird too because today I went to get a smoothie after my workout and it was right near this place that last year around this time I had to go to get my computer fixed. And I was like, oh, I remember when I went there, they were really nice. I mean, they were, I had to literally buy a new computer because it just like was too expensive to fix it. It just made more sense to get a new one. <sighs> I really just can't have this right now. I just, I, I was, I literally just made my YouTube thumbnail. Maybe I can get it on my phone because I did it on PicMonkey. Oh my God. F me. I was able to actually make a reservation at, <laughs> a reservation, the hottest new club at the Genius Bar at Apple tomorrow. So I have such a busy day tomorrow of appointments, but they're all good things except for this. Oh, I just, I, I leave on Friday. I need, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna figure it out. It's gonna be okay. Anyways. Well, I guess that's the universe telling me to stop working and wind down and read and drink my tea away from all electronics. I'll see you guys in the morning. everybody don't mind me just being a chef this morning I made this delicious little breakfast granola cereal I was told that granola fruit that's a good thing to eat before you work out mmm okay, I'm gonna about for that Paige Lorenz made this very delicious looking salad and I'm trying to recreate it so I just made just now whipped up some good seasonings Italian dressing this stuff is so good um and because I always just like struggle with chicken like tasting good and so she marinated overnight but I'm hoping if I do it in the morning it'll taste good by tonight um chicken in Italian dressing so I'm gonna do the same I don't really know how to marinate at all I guess I'm just gonna do it all and then either invite Ryan over or just have leftovers for myself like I guess I'll just do it all I have more good seasonings packets, but I guess, yeah, I'll put it in the fridge, let these marinate, and uh, I'm gonna put it over salad later, or over butterhead lettuce, I'm very excited. I switched to a smaller Tupperware because I feel like this will marinate better. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing here, it's like nothing, but the chicken's gonna be good, I'm gonna put it on my grill, it'll be delicious. Got a busy day of back-to-back -back stuff. Here's my workout outfit, going to train with my trainer. And then we've got appointment after appointment. The first one is Apple. <laughs> my butt this morning but it's time to have my post-workout cottage cheese I'm so excited I've been dreaming about this cottage cheese my whole walk back um, okay just went to Apple and I'm very, 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 very thankful for past me for getting Apple Care. I did not realize I had Apple Care, so it only cost $200 for them to send my computer back and get it fixed. And he said it could be done soonest as Friday, but I had to ship it to our Hamptons house. Um, and we don't have the house till Sunday. So I'm actually kind of like, I hope it doesn't get there till Monday. 
I don't know. So, good things. I just got a smoothie. And Delaney's office is over here. She has like a co-working space. So I'm gonna go visit her. And Danny's there too, Danielle Jordan. Um, she's a YouTuber too. So I'm gonna go visit them and say hi. They said I could. And then I have a brow appointment. So things are going well. I'm in one of my favorite parts of the city, which is meatpacking. Guys, Susie from Sanya's Brow Bar, she just crushed, like look at my eyebrows. Look at them. She took like 10 minutes. She just tweezes, trims, and she filled them in a little bit and I have the pencil at home. Back now, love my nails. Did pale yellow with a chrome on top. Of course, I haven't stopped getting chrome. Just chopped up another cucumber. And I'm gonna have some hummus because it's 5.30. Ryan's gonna come over for dinner later and I want him to grill the chicken. He's just so good at it. <laughs> um, so I'm not really sure what time he'll be done with work. So I need a snack right now. I literally just took my second shower of the day. We are gonna self tan because I, so I just showered but I didn't let my face get washed because I love how she filled in my eyebrows and I just wanna enjoy them a little bit more. Um, but I'm gonna self tan and I, I should start doing this more instead of like right before I go to bed, like do it earlier in the day because sometimes, sometimes, if I self, just self tanning my face by the way, my body's tan um, from the sun. But sometimes if I do it right before I go to bed, I'll wake up and if I sleep on my hand, there's like tan on my hand and then it doesn't work on my face. Not all the time, just sometimes and I just thought of it now and I'm still gonna be up for the next few hours so might as well do that. Um, but yeah, when I was getting my eyebrows done, I was like, ooh, I need to put some color on my face. So I'm gonna use the Isle of Paradise Medium Self Tanning Drops. I use these or the Tan Lux ones, truly, they're both amazing. I, I, I think they're owned by the same company actually. And then I'm gonna use the Inky List Omega Water Cream. Um, they actually sent, cause I, um, I literally use this so much, they sent me more and they sent it with this. I think it was like a little collab. So that must mean it's good to use together. Cause I never just put the self tanner on my face. Like you gotta mix it with some moisturizer. Smells like tan, I love it. My chicken is still marinating. Ryan's gonna come over at seven. Oh, let me not get the brows. Hopefully throughout the next few hours, I'll just like get tan, which would be ideal. Put a little on my neck too. I'm getting like pimples on my neck. Not really vibing with that. I'm kind of wondering if it has to do with like when I was in Florida and I was putting sunscreen on and then maybe not fully showering the sunscreen off my neck. I don't really know. Kind of a weird thing actually. But, whatever. All right, I'm gonna get dressed. <laughs> Put on some comfy clothes and I just did fun adult things. These are all my, these are all my supplements that I take. Um, so this is like my everyday one that I got on Amazon. It's linked on my storefront just cause it can fit so many. Um, but since I'm going to the Hamptons for two weeks, I was like, I, I don't really wanna bring all of my big bottles of supplements so I have this one which is my old one but I had upgraded to this so it could fit more so I just put like my essential supplements in there um so okay will it shut this feels like a piano like the white keys um oh please shut all right perfect so we are set the next two weeks, gonna bring all my elements to the Hamptons, just kind of starting to pack. On to our next organizing packing situation. I'm gonna start filling this up, not because I need to, there's other things that are way more important, but it just sounds really fun to start putting jewelry. So I just got these bangles, or cuffs, I don't really know what you wanna call them. I thought they would look really cute layered. Kelly had them, I literally buy everything she has, clearly. So I'm gonna put that in one of the bigger ones. Oh, I'm already pleased with the look of this. Then we got these bangles and this bracelet. This is way too much fun. I just got these necklaces from Love AJ. It's Sivon Ayla's collection. 
but like together or separate, they look so cute. I guess all of these can have their own little moment. How fun. This is too much fun. Okay, I'll check back in when I'm done. Wow, this is quite satisfying. I still have room down here. I wonder if I could fit my sunglasses, but I feel like I could only fit a couple pairs. Um, yeah, bracelets, earrings, 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 all my rings, and necklaces. I'm like so obsessed, and there's a whole other side, which I won't be needing, but this is amazing. I have it linked on my Amazon storefront, but I'm kind of obsessed. So I'm for sure overpacking, it's confirmed. I think I'm bringing 30 bathing suits, but more content for you guys. <laughs> All right, we're in the kitchen. I'm just doing some prep before Ryan gets here because we'll put the grill here and I'm gonna have him grill the chicken that is still marinating. Um, I just rinsed off the lettuce. We're using butterhead lettuce from Gotham Greens and I'm just cutting up or putting in half um, cherry tomatoes. I don't know why, but I'm just picking the red ones because it's making me happy. And then I'm gonna cut up this red onion and put the chicken over top with like a balsamic vinaigrette. Uh, I should have gotten mozzarella. That would have actually been quite tasty with it, but you know, it's a journey together. If I liked feta cheese, I would have put feta cheese on here. Should I put cottage cheese? No, I'm kidding. I feel like that's honestly enough tomatoes for Ryan and I. Cutting the onion and it's literally making me cry so much. These aren't onion goggles, but they're glasses, so I'm wondering if they'll help. Salad is coming along. Ryan just got here. He brought me flowers. That's so nice. I need to get it in a vase. They look beautiful. Grilling has begun. Yay. Oh my gosh. Look at us making a salad. I love it. I need to get salad bowls. <laughs> Basically, this is the one I made it in, and then I have this mixing bowl, because I hate when you're eating a salad, and it like falls out of the bowl, so... I just basically split it up and put it in these. But you know what? Yummy. And I added, I ended up having, adding avocado and then balsamic vinaigrette. I think if I did this again, I haven't even tried it, but I would add mozzarella cheese. And now for dessert, I keep this little bowl over here of Ghirardelli dark chocolate. Ryan just left listening to some Taylor Swift, just cleaned after dinner. Oh my gosh, I actually need to show you guys. Um, I got this surface cleaner from Crate and Barrel. Believe it or not, they have cleaning products. Well, really just this and then like dish soap. They have so many different scents in the store. You can smell them all. This was my favorite, geranium and bergamot. I can still, like my kitchen still smells good, which I like. Like I like a lingering scent. I've got my dishwasher going right now. This, I, cleaning is just more fun when you like your cleaning products and this stuff is amazing. So it's like countertop spray. Um, so I just use that. Feeling good. Current little project. Um, going to the Drake concert. I'm going to two nights in a row. I'm so pumped. Um, and I'm already planning my outfits because it's Drake. Like, come on. Maybe I'll meet him. No, I'm kidding. Um, I have these jeans that I love. They're Hudson jeans. Um, it's like this collaboration. They were on Revolve. They're definitely sold out because I've tried to link them before. But the button is bright green and it always annoys me. And so I never wear them. And I love these pants. They're like black cargo denim pants um so i went to cvs the other day and bought black nail polish and i'm pa i'm currently painting the button i'm gonna do the next layer but i really think it might work i mean i couldn't think of a better idea and i should have gotten a top coat actually i have a top coat here um but like i mean i i think it's a pretty smart idea on my part um, I'm just hoping it like dries. It says Insta dry, and it's been kind of drying and getting tacky, but I also hope once I put this in the washer, once I wear it, how the nail polish will hold up. So we shall see. I put like paper towels around it in hopes that it wouldn't get on the jeans, even though the jeans are black, so. Pretty proud of myself. Hopefully there was not an easier way to do this. Good morning from me and my banana. Woke up at 7 a.m. this morning, right, bright and early, so I get a lot done. Today's my last day in New York before I go to the Hamptons tomorrow. So I stripped the bed, my comforter, everything. That's all being washed right now. I haven't washed my sheets in a while. And my friend Caitlin's coming tonight. She's staying in my apartment for the weekend while I'm gone because she's coming to town. Um, so I was like, let me just change the sheets. And yeah, because they're due. And But I get to see her tonight. So that's exciting. 
Um, and then in here, I was starting to kind of pull all my products together for the Hamptons. These are like extra travel bags I have. Um, but I literally love Stony Clover so much. So this is all um, hair stuff slash shower stuff. Um, and then this is going to be my little teeth bag. So I can put because I'm um, doing bite right now. I wear these like nighttime retainers. And then this is all skin stuff. So, like, skincare, eye patches, you know, the drill. Um, it's just lovely being able to go somewhere where I can just bring as much as I want because I'm not going on an airplane. So, yeah, this is actually all Stony Clover, but um, I love these big old bags. So I was just separating the two, getting everything in order there. All right, bathroom's all tidied up. Got all my uh, bags over there. I've got my vacuum charging dishes making my like new favorite pre-workout breakfast which is this little granola cereal got the hemp chia granola blackberries strawberries and almond milk actually i mean does this just not look divine i also need to do my doing well daily of the day all right more laundry i'm attempting or i will i'm not attempting i will i have so much laundry because i like didn't do it all before i left for Illinois slash Florida, so there's gonna be a lot of laundry loads done today. I'm gonna go to Soul Cycle here in a little bit. I was hoping Brooke could go, but she could not. We like try to go to Soul Cycle at the same time in the weeks, but we she's more of like an evening worker out or I'm a morning worker out, so we're figuring that out. But I can do this alone. I've done it before. I love this set from Aloe. It's like this teal color. It's very fun. I'm just wearing my Brooke sneakers and then I have my TM spin shoes that I bring. But yeah, this is a little work outfit. I just put on this little tank too. It's from Bandier. I love it. It's their Wesley tank. I just love this like style of tank tops right now. Um, I am randomly so sore from my workout yesterday. I guess I haven't done like true strength training in a minute. Um, so I need to Theragun. Ooh. Dang. I'm gonna lower that. This literally feels insane. If you are someone who gets sore easily from working out not easily I feel like it's not like I get sore every time it's just if I haven't done a specific workout in a while either way I literally love my Theragun so much it like really relieves the muscles from feeling all sore I almost feel like it's breaking them up <laughs> I mean it's not but oh this is like suggestive looking but you know what it feels really good. We are back, rewarded myself with, oh, my tan like sweat off, I think. That doesn't look very cute at all. I have to scrub my face in the shower. Um, class was great. Got my OPP smoothie from Juice Jen because it's my reward. I'm gonna take a shower and then we have a hair appointment, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I just showered and I don't know what came over me. I put on makeup because whenever I get my hair done, I don't have makeup on and I'm like, I just wish I had makeup on because then it would complete the look. Um, my hair's really greasy right now. I'm going to Matt's Hair, also known as Rulon Salon in Lower East Side. I'm making an Element electrolyte drink though because it's hot out there and I like, I don't know, I just feel like I need to hydrate up. But anyways, I'm going back because last time I went I wanted to do like a bronze situation, like bringing more low lights in and I was happy with it and she texted me and she's like, mm. I'm not obsessed like let's go even dark not she didn't say I'm not obsessed she was just like come in again low lights on me like I just kind of wish I did more because I think she knew I was like nervous to go darker um anyways we're going back and we're gonna do some more low lights just because I do I kind of agree like I feel like it could blend a little bit but I don't really know what we're doing but we're doing something we're not doing any highlights of any sort Strictly low lights. I think just bringing more brown down to my ponytail so it's not super like stark, like blonde and then brunette. I, I don't really know what we're doing. 
but I'm excited to have fresh hair for the Hamptons and it's always nice leaving the hair salon with like fresh blowout obviously. I haven't been going to the dry bar as much. I think just because, I don't know why. Just wearing this tank and jeans and then put on some sneakers and bring a tote bag full of goodies. <laughs> but yeah, let's go to the hair salon. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. This is the exact color I was wanting. Like I feel like she did a really good job of blending the brown into the blonde. It doesn't look streaky or anything. Like I am so happy, I'm so sweaty. I just walked back and it's hot out there. Just cooked up some couscous. Gonna heat up my chicken that I made yesterday with Ryan. And then I made green beans as well. These are the best green beans in the world because I made them. No, I'm kidding. I just like love green beans so much, especially when they've got a little butter and pepper. Mm. All packed for the Hamptons. <laughs> just kidding. That's just for this coming weekend. <sighs> this is just like so much. I'm about to walk into Kelly's house with so many bags. So let me give you the lay of the land. Tomorrow through Sunday, we go to Kelly's house in East Hampton. Um, she's there with my friend Seb, she's there with Serena, Maggie, Landon, and Jay, and then I think some other people are joining this weekend. Me and Ryan are going out tomorrow for the weekend, and then Ryan will train back on Sunday, and then on Sunday I go to our Montauk house, which I'm so excited about, um, and I'm meeting up with Katie and Brooke, and I haven't seen them in so long, so I'm really excited. We're going to be recording the podcast out there, and it's literally the best time ever. I'm truly so excited. Summer I Turned Pretty adult version vibes, which someone just DM'd me, shout out to her, that Summer I Turned Pretty, the first three episodes are out now for Prime members. I'm a Prime member, who's not a Prime member? I mean, there are people that aren't Prime members, but you know what I mean, I'm a Prime member, so I'm watching. Um, which is perfect, because Caitlyn just landed, and she, I literally, I texted Caitlyn, she just landed, and I said, very important question, have you watched the Summer I Turned Pretty season one? Because she's really busy, she's an investment banker, and there's a chance she hasn't. She goes, I literally just finished season one this week. Thank God. And I said, well, guess what we're doing tonight? And she goes, I'm watching the show. I'm so, I'm literally so excited because I love, love watching TV with friends. Like that's the one thing of like living alone. Like when White Lotus would come out and stuff like that. I just love like talking with someone about the show. And Caitlin's the perfect person to watch this with. So yeah, but I'm going to be hauling all this stuff into Kelly's house tomorrow, which will be fun. But she's prepared for it. She knows. Um, and they're like, we have plenty of room. Don't worry. But it's definitely going to be a lot. But instead, of, we're not taking the train tomorrow. I got like a car service because I just have far too much stuff. While we're there, Katie and I are sharing a car. But she's using the car to drive on Sunday. I decided to go early. So I was like, take the car on Sunday, whatever. Um, so Brooke will have her car. Katie and I will have a car to share. And I was going to, like, we were going to both get cars. And we were like, we're at least two of us will always be together. So we don't need three cars. Um... So yeah, Caitlin's gonna be here soon. I'm so excited. Um, actually, if you made it to the end of this video, Caitlin's here to tour apartments, which I'm so excited about. Guys, Caitlin's moved to New York. I feel so blessed. My boyfriend's here, my best friend Delaney's here, and now Caitlin's moving, one of my other best friends. Like, I'm just so blessed. And then our, my other friends, Mary Stephen and Morgan, me, Mary Stephen and Morgan, and Caitlin were like a, a group so it's gonna be really cool to have the four of us back here together as well um just missing our friend sophia but she stayed in the west coast unfortunately um but yeah so very excited for caitlin to come i mean we're gonna have a couple hours together and then tomorrow she's like touring apartments all day i think but i'm okay with that because i get to spend a little time with my bestie and then go to montauk with more of my besties and all the things so i'm gonna end the vlog here by the way what do we think of my hair i'm literally so obsessed it always looks so good when you leave the salon because they blow it out and everything but i'm really 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 happy with this color i think she did a really good job of blending it all um but yeah i'm gonna get ready for caitlin to get here i love you guys dearly and i'll see you guys in the hamptons mm -hmm.